Hi, I'm Julie Weber of Liberate Ministries, and today's topic is called American Grief. You know, a while back, my husband and I had the opportunity to visit Israel. We were trying to plant the two equal one marriage ministries that we were involved in at the time. And I remember one particular incident when we were visiting a messianic pastor and his wife for the day. And it was time for them to go perform a funeral for a member in their congregation. So here we are in Israel, observing from the outskirts of the cemetery's fenced-in graveyard, a Jewish funeral. I kept thinking, why are we observing this? I ended up getting a vision to start our ministry while we were there. Upon writing our curriculum, I spent time trying to understand and observing how people grieve. Well, three things I observed how people handle their grief. Number one, Americans do not grieve properly. I kept noticing that people try to keep their emotional health in control by not shedding tears. I have attended funerals where people tend to look great, very pulled together. Number two, Christians can become disillusioned with him by not grieving properly. The idea of not outwardly showing emotional grief during their time of loss. Both of these statements, I'll see you in heaven or they're in a better place, could be more detrimental emotionally, almost a form of denying the loss. Being in denial and not grieving properly over time can make you angry with God. It is better to deal with loss up front rather than later in life. All throughout the Bible, people died horrific, sudden, traumatic deaths. And the Jewish people have a long history of mourning their losses. Number three. All cultures across the world have their different way of handling death after life. In diverse societies, different attitudes and behaviors around death were formed through religious beliefs, family traditions, economy, education, and the political system. Since Jesus is Jewish, I decided to study his Jewish heritage and understanding loss. While cited from my Lady Liberty workbook on pages 77 and 78, this is my Lady Liberty workbook. And I'm going to read from pages 77 and 78. The Jews handle grief in a healthy way. Their customs are designed around expressing, not repressing. Grief. They wail, they tear their clothes, and for the first few days in a Jewish home, they eat a certain way. They dress a certain way. They light a seven-day candle. They cover up their mirrors and decorative objects in their home to concentrate on their loss and less on their look and vanity. After seven days, the synagogue brings a meal of recovery. Grieving time is not a time to replace that which is lost. After a period of no less than 30 days and no more than one year, the mourning period ends. From that point on, they do not mourn anymore. It is a healthy process. The Jewish community thanks the Lord after the mourning period ends and in celebration by lighting a candle and thanking God. The Jewish style of mourning shows how a deliberate process of mourning can be healthy. 
I mourned the loss of my aborted child for 20 years. That was way too long. It's a big job to try to change America's way of handling grief. So what can you do the next time you experience loss? Go to grief support. There are all kinds of grief support groups for people affected by loss, locally, nationally, and internationally, by all types of death. You can search the internet for the grief support that you need in your local area during your time of need. 54 million women have had abortions in the United States. So globally, worldwide, the number is estimated 40 to 50 million abortions a year. If none of those people involved in those abortions had gone through any type of a healing process, then hypothetically, this means that our global world is at a grieving state. So technically, this becomes a global issue. You can find the website information for the statistics attached to this video. So hey, in closing, I want to do a shout out to people who have had an abortion. This message applies to you. I want to encourage you to begin the journey and process this area that needs healing so that you can live life liberated. Well, thanks for watching.